out here trying to take a fucking nap. And instead, I get a tweet notification from Bob McKenzie, who is now Bob Margarita on Twitter, that says, oh, this is a big trade. And I'm like, oh, shit, I'll, I'll read that tweet before I take a nap. I click on it, and what do I get? Tyson Berry has been traded from the Colorado Avalanche. And I am upset. <laughs> What the fuck? I literally picked up my phone, went outside of my house, started swearing wildly and loudly. And my neighbors already probably had to hear me at the end of playoff season when the Stars got eliminated and then when the Blues fucking won the cup. So they're probably not surprised that I was just yelling about a trade. But I'm upset. And awake. I have two reasons to be upset right now. So if you haven't heard, the Colorado Avalanche have traded Tyson Berry, Alex Kerfoot, and a six-round pick in 2020 to the Toronto Maple Leafs in exchange for Nazem Kadri, Cal Rosen, and a third-round pick in 2020. The Avs will also be retaining 50% of Tyson's 5.5 mil cap hit. That's right, right? Yeah, they're retaining 50% of his AAV. So let's break down the trade before I get into the fucking emotion of it. So here's who the Leafs are getting in Tyson Berry and Alex Kerfoot. Tyson Berry is going to be 28 at the end of July. He's a defenseman. If you don't know who he is, fucking Google this man. He's fantastic. Anyway, Tyson played in 78 games last season with 14 goals and 45 assists for 59 points. He had a negative three rating, but he averages 21.47 on the ice per game, which is phenomenal. He's a great goddamn defenseman. He's He's... Anyway, Alex Kerfoot is a 25-year-old center. He played in 78 games as well last season with 15 goals, 27 assists, and 42 points. He had a negative 9 rating this season. He averaged 14.53 on the ice per game. Also, as I said, the Avs will be retaining 50% of Tyson's 5.5 mil AAV. And here's what Colorado is getting on the trade. Joe Sackick, you just love to piss me off in the morning. It's not even morning, it's afternoon. But wanna know what? I just woke up. Didn't even get to take a fucking good nap. So, the Avs will be getting Nazem Kadri, who's going into his 11th season in the NHL. Uh, last season, Naz played in 53 games with 16 goals and 28 assists for 44 points. He had a negative two rating. He averaged 16 51 on the ice per game i know a lot of people don't like naz he is just a player who plays with his heart and sometimes he makes dumb fucking decisions which end up getting him suspended we'll discuss at a different point in time not now cal rosen only played in four games in the nhl last season and he had one goal no assists so he had one point with a negative three rating and in those four games he averaged 16 42 on the ice and they also will be getting a third round pick from the Leafs. So, as I've mentioned now three times, the Evs are retaining 50% of Tyson's 5.5 mil cap hit. Kerfoot is a restricted free agent who hasn't signed shit, so that's still to be determined. And Naz has a 4.5 mil cap hit and Rosen only gets paid $750,000. This is just... My, my reaction to this trade, as being a fan of both teams, what the fuck? I don't get it. You know, I, I don't, I don't. Basically, my take on it, and I am not an expert, I am not Pierre Lebron, I am not Bob McKenzie, I know I don't know everything, but, um... My thing is just, how the fuck do you make a trade like this? You're top, if not number one, defenseman. You trade him for Naz, who is like, okay, understandable. Naz has a lot to offer. But fucking Cal Rosen, like, I'm sorry, Cal, you're maybe like a good guy, IRL. But he's played in eight games in the NHL with one goal and one assist. And you are going to trade Tyson Berry and Alex Herfoot for those two? Like, I don't, I don't see it. I don't understand. This makes no fucking sense. Basically, Kyle Dubas just fucking robbed Joe Sackick. 
And I know the Avs just got Bowdoin Bram and they have Cal, I'm gonna mispronounce it, Macker, Macker, Maker, one of them, fight me. Anyway, I know that they have those two young defensemen that they're like building upon, <sighs> but is it worth Tyson? I, I, I. That's all I got. That's all I fucking got. That's all I got. I mean, I wasn't, I was pissed when it first happened because I really love Tyson Berry on the abs. He adds so much personality both on and off the ice. He's a leader among the team. He's like fucking hilarious. Fight me. I will pull the fact that he is just really funny and the abs social media does a good job of doing like actual shit that make fans care. Sorry. But they do like Tyson Tuesday and that's shit that I was like, yes, I live for this. And Nate and Tyson had a funny friendship and then him and Gabe had that like fun fucking dynamic. And now we don't get any of that shit. Like, I'm annoyed. I'm upset because Tyson, like, he just has so much on and off the ice. And you, he has a fucking career season. He sets a goddamn record in your franchise and you trade him for next to not jack shit? And I say jack shit, and I'm sorry, but this trade doesn't equal. I like Naz, and I love Tyson. D d whatever. <laughs> and honestly, you can disagree with me. You can love this trade. It, I, j I need to fucking yell about it to someone that wasn't my family, because I felt bad because I walked outside and just started swearing, and my brother was like, that sucks, buddy. <laughs> like, and I'm like, 